Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Mass today. It is Friday, October 23rd. We are celebrating Friday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time, and it is also the feast, the memorial of St. John of Capistrano, priest. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words, guard me as the apple of your eye, in the shadow of your wings, protect me. Love divine, all love's excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us your humble dwelling, all your faithful mercies crown. Jesus, source of all compassion, love and bounded love all pure. Visit us with your salvation, let your love in us endure. And good morning, everyone. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit and the grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And once again, we gather to give praise to God, to reference our life back to our Creator. And we also, in giving our life to God, we also remember that there are times when we perhaps did not look at the signs of the times in our own lives and know that we perhaps missed some opportunities to uh, Grow, grow closer to God and also to uh, maybe some opportunities not, not to sin. For all those reasons, we again ask the Lord's forgiveness and mercy. I confess <clears throat> to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Fall through my fault through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. And now let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, Grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness and patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit. As you also were called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Lord, Lord this, this is, is the people that long to see your face. face. The Lord's are the earth in his fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, you are the people that long to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face.
Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it's going to rain. And so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it's going to be hot. And so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge you for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning again, everyone. Good morning, Father. <clears throat> there are five letters of St. Paul, one of which is the Ephesians that we've been hearing all week. They're known as the captivity letters because it is thought that Paul wrote these letters while being in prison. He was in many prisons throughout his public ministry, but it never, ever, ever, ever stopped him from proclaiming the word of God for the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is one of the captivity letters, and he's talking about the spirit within him. He's talking about how the body of Christ, that's one of his great theological insights, by the way, the church is the body of Christ, keeps him going and, and proclaiming, and it's all very, all very good. But the thing is, um, it's the captivity letters. He's still in jail, still in prison. And I was thinking about that. We, we are kind of like right now in prison uh, with this pandemic, uh, this pandemic virus. I just was reading this morning that the cases in just Luzerne County are very high uh, once again. So we, our lives are been sort of uh, imprisoned by, by all of this. But yet I think we have to be like St. Paul and we are like St. Paul in the sense that even though we're imprisoned by this terrible plague, uh, we find ways to continue to proclaim <coughs> faith not going to get us to stop. We're not going to just sit back and say, well, I'm sick of this. I'm just going to forget about the whole thing. We find ways to do it. Just what you're doing right now are one of those, is one of those ways, being here with masks and social distancing and all the other things. But as a parish, we've been trying to do other things as well, as you know. Uh, we have that wonderful opportunity for those who are home, who are just reluctant to come to church because of, of fear, and that's understandable and, and, and endorsed. But we have the communion offered on Sunday afternoons from 12 to 12.30. We're going to say we're going to get communion out there anyway, even though we're imprisoned by the, uh, uh, you know, by the virus, because the Eucharist is the center of our, of our very lives. And... Uh, Two weeks ago, I guess it was, now we had our drive-in mass at the Grove. Everybody stayed in cars. So we got a lot of positive feedback about that. That's a creative way to, to come to mass and not be endangered in any way because you're socially distanced in your cars. So we decided to try one more time before Mother Nature intervenes and says we can't do it anymore. But uh, uh, we're looking at November, November the 8th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon at the Grove for our next drive in mass. Of course, if we have uh, six inches of snow that day, we won't be doing it, but it all depends on the weather or, or if it's really cold. But right now we're gonna just take a chance and plan it for November, November the 8th. And of course, uh, through, through Bill's dedication to this whole cause, <clears throat> we have these live streaming masses daily and uh, weekends and other things that we've been doing. So. Um, I think like St. Paul, yes, we're imprisoned by, by all the restrictions placed upon us, but we're not gonna let them, we're not gonna let those restrictions stop us. We're gonna continue 
to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ because the Spirit is what's moving us and we will continue to do that. And maybe we can see the signs of the times. So what can we do? What can we do at this moment? And uh, so many people have come up with so many great ideas and support them. So we're not, we're not giving up by any means. We're going to just move ahead. So let's stand up for, and offer our petitions this morning. Continue to pray for <clears throat> those who are leading our church at this moment, pastorally leading our church. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop, Bishop Ambera, we pray to the Lord for both of them. We Lord, pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we do pray for an end to this virus. We do pray for that. We pray for those who have died yesterday, right in our own county. Well, I'm sorry, they didn't die. Thank God for that. They, but they came down with the disease. But for those who have died, uh, let's pray for their, their souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for <clears throat> we pray for our country that will have some kind of stability and peace as we select a new president, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a continuation of the presence, whichever it may be. But we also pray for, <clears throat> we also pray for the respect for life, which what a great mystery it is, what a great mystery life is. Uh, only, only God could create it, only God could be responsible for it. The complexity of it, the, the, the beauty of it, the amazing, uh, amazing part of it. I was talking to a, one of our prisoners who had a new baby and just since the short time that she's had the baby, that, that they've had the baby, uh, to see the personalities developing and, you know, little things about the child as the child is growing. What a, what a miracle that is. And only something like that could possibly come from God. So let's pray for the respect for life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our own intentions, which we pause to offer now. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our <clears throat> prayer. And again, we ask Mary's intercession, the mother of Jesus, the mother of God, the mother of the church. Hail Lord, Mary, full of grace. The Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, Blessed art thou among Lord, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Be still and know that I am God. You are my chosen one to whom I give my love. My life is yours in you I live. Be still, be still. And know that I am God. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, <clears throat> for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. And now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. And grant us, O Lord, we pray a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just.
our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it new. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And this morning we remember the deceased members of the Danilevich family and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Faustina, with St. John of Capistrano and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. <clears throat> and now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share Christ's peace with one another. And peace to everyone who is viewing at home. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the, may the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. And may the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. The Son of Man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. We belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you in our daily living, dying and rising. We belong to you. We are called to share your word, Lord, in all we say and all we do. As our journey moves us onward, we belong to you. We belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you. In our daily living, dying and rising, we belong to you. <clears throat> and now for our sisters and brothers praying with us this morning at home, we pray an act of spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> And our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan 
and, and all other evil spirits, spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. And God bless everyone. Have a safe day. You too, Father. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Thank you everyone for joining us for Mass this morning. Um, as a reminder, on Monday morning uh, there will be no Mass. There will only be a communion service, so Mass will not be live streamed on Monday morning. Uh, we'll be back on Tuesday morning with Daily Mass live streamed. Um, and, of course, we have our weekend Masses, which we will be here for 4 p.m. on Saturday and 10 a.m. on Sunday. But, again, this coming Monday, uh, no Mass, no live stream. It's a communion service only for those who come to the church. Okay, thank you so much for joining us today. You have a great day. God bless.